watermelon, piggies. All right, so every year we start the same way. We cut a little foot on the, well, first we wash our melon. We give it a good wash with a little And then uh, we top. give it then some we give it a, we give it stability, somewhere it's the same, right? It's the same, uh, I'm not getting the bottom here. It's the same uh, rule as an onion, right? You want to give it, you want to give it like give a flat it some surface. Feet so it doesn't roll, right, there. roll away from you. There we go. So okay. now we've got a sturdy little base. You've got your watermelon. We're going to cut one cut here. One cut, we're going to cut a little basket. So one okay. down the front. There we go. And then across? One in the back. Yep, and then across. Yep. And then we're going to pull that piece out. Flip it around. There you go. Hello. Look, you're ahead of me this year. That's delicious. <laughs> we're going to take this and we're going to cut it into like a third this way. Okay. We are going to use our knife. I've got a paring knife here if that's a little easier. We're going to cut out the pink part, leaving the rind, but we want to keep a little bit of pink on it because our piggies are pink, right? So we want to give him some little pink legs. So we want to cut off this part. Oh, these are going to be legs. These are going to be his legs, yep. So we're gotcha. just going to cut these, this little piece into one, two, three. Well, this guy's got a little four. highlight. Yeah, uh, that's, our piggies are all lucky. different colors. Um, so now we've got our little leggies. Little leggies. Um, so now we are going to take a little biscuit cutter. We know we're not bakers, so I use these things for fruit carvings. And we are going to cut his little snout out of that. Oh, I know. Snout. Little snout. Little snout. Um, and then, oh. I know, I know. From another piece of this, we're going to cut the ears. I've, I've got it all. And we're going to, okay, we're going to scoop all of this out to make a little basket. I've got it all done for us on the next stage. We're going to give him his snout right in the center. I like to do two toothpicks and make sure he's pretty secure. Okay. And then right in the, these two picks oh are open. Gosh, I know. Really? I know. I, I'm going to pierce my hand before I get the snout in. <laughs> the good thing with this one is that they don't have to dig all the way in because we're going to top them with some blueberries. So if you've got some toothpicks. Oh, now you tell out, me. <laughs> or you could do some additional ones. Now I'm going to pull out. There. All right. <laughs> I hope your dentist is not watching this segment. Okay. So let's <laughs> put, so we've got his little snout. Got his little blueberry nostrils. <clears throat> I know. I have a lot of broken fingernails shoving toothpicks into things. His little nostrils. From the base that we cut, I used another little biscuit cutter. I cut us two little, two little eyeballs. So we're gonna stick in two. Sometimes I even cut the toothpick in half if we're feeling, I think this one's okay. Little eye. What's that? That's his eye. There's two little eyes. But where'd you get the eyes? We cut them out of the I cut them out of the base of when we made Oh, the I see. Yes. When you took the feet. I used another right. biscuit cutter and we cut out eyes. I gotcha. So we're gonna stick on his little eyeballs. Mm. Also made with blueberries. Mm. Excellent work. Um, and so then from the other piece of watermelon, I cut out some little pink piggy ears. We're just gonna tack those right in the back. <laughs> So now our little piggies come to life a little bit. We could see his nose, we could see his eyes, we okay. could see his little ears. I'm trying. Yeah, you're doing a fantastic job. Um, now, as we know from all of our tales of piggies, what is the best part of the piggy besides his twirly little tail, right? I've got a really I, cute I, way. I, I of... love the curly cute. What, yes. what are these things going to do? Which ones? Oh, oh, those are his feet. My gosh. You my didn't gosh. put any oh my feet gosh. on the poor wow, little wow, guy. Wow, wow. I got really excited about his tail. All right, well, just imagine four feet. Four feet. holes in my fingers there we go. More, putting the feet in. <laughs> more holes in our fingers. <laughs> yes. Sticking the feet right in here. Okay. Do four feet around. I've got a bunch more at this table. We could see. So now um, Wait, the I'm taking this tail. Oh, no, I'm, I'm going to show you how to make the tail. So uh, I was yeah, digging. You go ahead and do I that. was digging around. I'm putting one in so I can say that I finished my pig. <laughs> I was digging around John's cocktail box and I found this channel knife. And oh, the channel knife yeah, is awesome. It's really you cool it for cocktails. So yeah, you like hold it down on the line and you want to get the longest strip that you can. And it's just really fun to do this. So you get the longest strip of line that you can, and then you take a chopstick or like the back of a fork or a bar spoon, um, and you take that and you wrap it around the, the chopstick. You leave it overnight, and look at these swirlies. Look at these guys. Look at these Very little tails. Cute. Aren't they fun? Look. look at that. Oh, you filled it in everything. Bring that down here. Bring that with the rest of our pig family. We got to show that one off. That one looks phenomenal. The feet aren't attached, though. It's <laughs> perfect. Look at that, and now we've got, so now my other favorite thing that we, so look at his little piggy tail. Look at how cute. Yay! 